this one incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Ajayi hit. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have recovered. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson escaping the pressure right. And this will be incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them 14, 14. in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Oh, some strong running. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Wilson to lock it there for the Seahawks first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. To throw is Wilson, rolling to his right, and incomplete. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On second down, Davis. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now they'll give it to the first option. That's their fullback. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally wrestled down at the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's a lot of good on that play when we see the big fella take it and rumble into the secondary. But how about the big part of it? Taking care of the football. He doesn't. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Trey Madden, an eight yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have made this a one score game. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. Here's Wilson, flushed out right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out to kick is Janikowski. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. 
Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. Breaks through the contact. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action to Sproles, Wentz. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. Shamar Steven busting two, through two. to get him for a loss of six. Anyone, Tremendous anyone. read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. Play action, now Wentz. Throw left side complete. It's tape. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Right back to him on first down. He'll get three up to midfield. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Hey, hey, And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here. shortly at the two-minute warning. On, One of the bigger on, plays in the go. game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. On play action, Wentz. Flush to it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 
Now it's Lockett. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seahawks offense now. They get ready to come back onto the field. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. His throw incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. It makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Back to throw. He finds his man, Baldwin. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. And a nice gain of 21 yards. He's back to throw. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The first down carry for Davis. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And the tackle there by Chris Long. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Back to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Wilson now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. They'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field. And it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. And they'll run it here. Spins away. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Elliott on for the extra point. Elliott good with a PAT, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Oh, 
Elliott now to kick this one away. 